This is the uh, third video of assignment number five uh, on curtain walls. And uh, you'll notice that last uh, video, we put in these three curtain walls on all three levels. If we look at our, uh, where is our 3D view here? Uh, we don't want that one. We want that one right there. And so you can see our, our, three, our sets of walls here. They go around it. So the next thing we're going to do is clean up uh, in the wall section. If we go to the wall section, let's look at a wall section. Uh, we'll just go to level two here since it's open. And there's a wall section that I've placed in the drawing right here that shows a cut through the wall right there, uh, which is cutting somewhere right in here on the third uh, through that building. And then uh, let's go back to that and you can see our curtain wall right here okay our three segments of curtain wall and they are lined up with the edge of the not the beams but they're lined up with the edge of the column uh, right there and uh, you can see the different layers of insulation and sheathing uh, but you'll notice what I want you to notice is that here the roof the roof should actually all come out to and be a support for the curtain wall, the metal stud. The same thing with the floor here. Uh, you can see the floor and it's not all the way out to the metal stud. And we can do the same thing down here as we look at the ground. I'm going to turn on heavy lines so you can maybe see this a little bit better. Okay, so there is our original slab. There's the uh, grade beam that we put in. Here's the cap to the pier. And really what we need to do is move uh, or pour this slab all the way out to the edge right here so that it would incorporate and include uh, uh, foundation for the uh, curtain wall. Even though the curtain wall isn't structure, it still needs to sit on something. And uh, we might also at that time move the grade beam, but we're not going to in this video. Uh, move the grade beam out there to be the edge support or put an edge support instead of a grade beam on that. Uh, but we're not going to do that in this video. So first thing we're going to do, let's move this uh, this out so that it's underneath here. And to do that, we're going to go to the first level floor plans here, not structure. Remember, make sure you open opening the right one. So let's go to the first level floor plan here. And since I had it selected, it went ahead and, and kept it selected. That's a convenience uh, sometimes. And so I just what I did, uh, you may not have saw me do it. I'm going to close this out. Uh, edit sketch, right? So I've got this selected. It's going to allow me to sketch the boundaries or resketch the boundaries. And what we want to do, let's this is easier to see right here. What we want to do is move this to the inside of the metal stud and my lines right now are too thick so I'm going to turn them off from thickness and I'm going to zoom in here where we started earlier and you can see here's the boundary of the slab and then here is the uh, gypsum board right here this is the sheathing you know and, and this is the things you have to be able to understand and pick out um, so I'm going to move this and we're going to snap it right there. It should snap on it. And so we're going to snap it to the inside of that metal stud and we're going to lock it so that if our, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I, I moved the long place. I want it to sit on the outside, okay, of the brick right there, all the way out to the brick. Yeah. Sorry about that. I was thinking about the floor because that's what we have to do for the floor. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to just grab that and then click it till it snaps to the brick. I'm going to check, make sure it got the brick. I'll lock that to the brick. That way, if we add materials or add element, uh, components to the, uh, the, the wall and we make it thicker, that slab's going to move because it's locked to that brick. It's outside edge of that brick. Uh, it, so if we go in there and add two inches of rigid insulation, it's going to automatically move uh, the slab out uh, the, the extra inch. 
Okay, so we've got this locked in. We've got it changed. I'm just going to select it now as I accept. Voila. And let's verify. Trust with verify, right? So we're going to go back into our section right here, and you can see our slab now it extends out and is underneath the wall. Uh, our grade beam, we haven't moved, but we're not going to do it in this particular set of drawings. Uh, we'll let the once the engineer tells us we need to do that, then we'll do it. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is deal with the floor here. And basically, it's the exact same thing. We're going to go into the floor. We'll go into the second level in this case. So I'm going to open the second level floor plan. And I have it selected. And what we want to do is move all of these edges to the floor now to that inside edge of the uh, steel stud. So I'm going to go down here so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to go into mode, edit the boundary. There's the boundary of my floor. I'm going to drag it over. That's going to snap to the outside of that gypsum board. That's not where I want it, but it asked me if I want to remove constraints because I had it constrained before. I had it locked before. And I said, no, that's not where I want that to go. I want it to go right there. And I'm going to say yes to that. Um, and then I'm going to go down here and do a similar thing to that boundary edge right there. I'll unlock it this time and zoom in and grab it and pop it right there. Once again, you just need to understand what you're looking at and what layers you're looking at in that view. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then once again, because I didn't unlock it, it said, do you want to remove the constraint? Yes, I do. And then I'm going to come in, check, make sure I'm going to the inside of that metal stud. And then I think I've got one more right over here. Yes. Okay. And I want that to go to the inside of that metal stud too. That's to the outside. But I want it to go to the... Come on. It's having a hard time finding it. There we go. That's what I want it to snap to. And so now I've got the floor done. Uh, I'm going to say okay to that. Uh, would you like to go up to the floors to the level to attach to its bottom? No, I don't want to do that. And uh, so now I can go back into my wall section here, right here, and I can look at that second floor, which is right there. And you'll notice that the second floor now, oh, well, I guess I did want that to connect to the bottom of I want that to go to there. Let me go to second floor. So as you can see, uh, I should have told it to uh, attach it to the bottom of this. So what I'm going to do is do that really quick. So this wall, I'm going to go up here if in, in the uh, modify wall and you'll say see here it says attach top to base and so I can uh, click attach and I can say attach this to this this element right and so it'll it'll attach it and now it's what it's the way it should be so next time when I get that question I'm going to say answer uh, yes I want to do that so now so when you do I did this first floor the second floor here what you're going to do is do this next one, notice it's not. So you can go back through and look and see what I did. I'm going to go ahead and jump that because that's just a repeat of the second floor, the third floor is. And then I'm going to do the uh, the roof. And the roof is really just another repeat of the same process, only we're, we're changing the roof. So I'm going to go in here to uh, floor plans, top of roof. Uh, and there's the roof that I selected right there. Once again, it's a matter of resetting the boundaries, and these boundaries need to go to the same location. I'm going to go down here once again where you can see it better, hopefully. So here's our metal stud from here to here. I'm going to select that. Uh, I'm going to go over here and snap it. No, I don't want to snap there. Yes, remove constraints. I want to snap to the inside right there and say yes, lock that up. And then, fortunately, I don't have as many lines to do in this case. I'm going to zoom in here, select that one, move it, 
There we go. Uh, remove constraints. Yes. Lock it. And do the same thing here. Remove constraints. Yes. Lock it. Okay. And this one I shouldn't have to move. It's connected to the other slab. And so now my roof is fixed. Okay. And let's go back into my section. Uh, let's verify that I did this right. So I'm going to go back here into this section right here, which is this one. And we can see now the roof is going all the way out to the steel stud, which it should be, because what we want to do is, like I showed you earlier, uh, we want to be able to uh, connect to the floor that metal stud, either to the beam or to the floor. You can see if I, see if I move that floor all the way out uh, to where it comes to the where the uh, stud is, uh, then I can use a clip and connect that and make the connection. Uh, you know, back to uh, right here, you can see the clip again, another one of those clips being used uh, on the floor. This is the floor right here. There's concrete and uh, the clip for the curtain wall. Okay, that ends this uh, video. Uh, it's pretty, the next, the next video, the last video I'm going to do for you is we're going to go in and uh, clean up our section and set up our uh, sheets. And this time we're going to uh, print out of Revit rather than just screen capture.